Hi everybody, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I'm coming to you with hashtag Tea Tuesday, and thank you very much for stopping by. I'm going to be combining a few things today. Um, I'm going to put in hashtag Christmas 365, and um, it's also under hashtag 365 Christmas. What that is, is that each month, the last day of each month, yes, I'm late, the last day of each month, um, we post anything we were doing for Christmas, anything we're doing to prepare for Christmas. It doesn't matter whether it's presents, it doesn't matter if it's one card, it doesn't matter anything. For instance, with mine, mine was just a whole bunch of die cutting for a project, and that, that card, that type I'm going to be trying. Whole bunch of cutting. So, if you are interested, it's open. It wasn't you know, the first couple of years, but now it's open to anyone. If you do anything for Christmas, I don't even I don't even worry about whether it's the last day of the month anymore. But um, anytime you want to use the hashtag, go ahead and use the, the hashtag. It's it's all in fun, right? We're just having fun. I'm also going to include my books because I realized at like 11:30 last night in bed that I hadn't done them. So I try to do them on Mondays. I try. Um, and uh, if you check out Life with Patty, she does book updates as well and whenever she's able to get them up. So check her out. Um, okay, so first of all, we'll do uh, hashtag. I'll do the hashtags first and then we'll talk about like updates, like actual hashtag Tuesdays. So last night, uh, and yeah, I'm still going at it. I pounded out a bunch of these, um, where is it? Just a sec here. Be sorry. Um, it's one of these belt dies and I got it from uh, Carlene and there's a smaller piece to it. Oh, there it is. It looks kind of like this. And what my thought is, is that I can put a red front and I have this, I have this rotary cutter that I have had forever in a day. It is so yellow from UV, right? Like, look at, look what, how white it was supposed to be. This is how white it was supposed to be. Um, so yeah, it's even yellow. I will not give it up. It's got these like zigzag um, rotary, um, it's got straight rotary, it's got per, um, um, uh, scoring tool, it's got other like little cutters. It was as seen on TV like years ago. I don't even know if you can find them anymore. I will not give up mine up until all of the blades say no, I'm not doing anymore. Um, it does have a light where you can make sure you're and it has um this this thing that comes out so you can do your measurements and yeah um so it goes up to 15 inches so anyways if you can find them fantastic fantastic print trimmers i hope to never lose mine um anyways it's got the zigzag thing. So I figure what I can do is I can do a red front and then do a strip of um, zigzag like I do with my little Santa belly um, tags. I can do like a larger Santa belly. So white with the zigzag on both sides and put that on the red and then put this. I know it's hard to vi uh, visualize with me because I can't explain things to save my life but that's my that's my in my head so I might eat that like I'll as soon as I get a something solid I will show it on my um, page because yeah I've got a lot more cutting out to do because I want to cover these little holes with fake um, uh, eyelets so that's what I am cutting out as like right there, these little fake eyelets to glue on them. It's a lot of work, I know, but 
What do you do when you're a paper crafter? You work with paper. Um, and, uh, yeah, and what else? What else? That was Christmas 365 for my books. I'm reading a few things, as usual. Um, so one of the first things, um, so the first thing I'm, uh, I'm still reading is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, and it's about a lady that made a pact with, like, a bad god, um, back in the 1700s and 300 and some odd years later. Yes, she got the traveling and everything that she wanted, but, yeah, there's conditions, and she has to live with them. And one of the conditions is that everybody forgets her after they see her. So, yeah. V.E. Schwab um, book, so it's very good. I'm also reading The Drift by C.J. Tudor. This is about, um, from what I, I'm understanding here, I'm not a big synopsis, synopsis person, but yeah. Um, so from what I gather, from, I gather, there's like three groups of people. They take it from the uh, the the side side of Hannah, Meg, and um, Caleb. Caleb, what's his name? Oh, I forget. Uh oh, um, I forget. Carter. So yeah, so they um, take it from their points of view. They're each in different groups. There is a virus of some sort, and they were on their way to what they call the retreat. And from what I understand, it's it's like a place that they go so that they can be um, kept safe while they're still healthy. I'm guessing, and I I can't say for sure, but I'm guessing that they there were select people that were sent in order for. I'm assuming to start over or I don't know. So anyways, I'm reading that. So it's called The Drift. If you're not into um, swearing, not the book for you. It is, um, there is a lot of profanity in it. Um, it's written well and things like that. And I like it so far. I'm 14% in. With Addie LaRue, I'm 36% in. But 14% in for The Drift. I don't find the the cussing bad, but I, yeah, I don't mind that stuff, I guess. Next one is the second book in my series um, for, uh, I was uh, um, talking in the, uh, the last week about the Underneath the Never Sky, um, and I liked it so much. It's by Veronica Rossi, and I liked it so much that I had to go to the second book. And it is essentially the dweller versus the um, outsider. And the dweller is, is thrown out of her pods and stuff like this. And she has to survive on the outside. And she meets this gentleman and, and stuff like that. So anyways, second book. And I'm, I'm still enjoying it. Great um, um, reading. And it's 4% in. Um, the measure I took on today, um, it's for, by Nikki er Ehrlich, I think, E-R-L-I-C-K. And what I gather from it is that a certain one day, everybody on the continent received the same box. And in the box, it told them how long they have to live, like when they will pass. So it's about what happens at that point. Do people want to know? What do they do if they know? And stuff like this. So anyways, I, I thought it would be interesting. So I'll start that one as well. Those of you who don't know, I need a few books on the go. I'm like, I was... I did, the thing is last night I only had the second one for through it's called Through the Ever Night by Veronica Rossi. I only had that one and The Invisible Life of uh, of uh Addie LaRue, but the, 
the thing with the Addie LaRue, it's, it's an audio book. So I don't like laying down at night with an audio book because if I fall asleep, hmm, been there, done that, then had to find my spot. So usually I prefer the reading at night. Um, but I didn't have anything else and I wasn't in the mood to read the sci-fi one. So I looked for something else and then the measure came in today and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it. So I said, okay, I can manage to read four books, one an audio book, um, before 20 days is up. I have no problem doing that. that. Um, I think the drift is going to go pretty fast anyways, because I'm, I just started it and I'm already 14 in. So anyways, what has been going on in my life? Let's get to the hashtag T Tuesday. What has been going on in my life? Not a lot, but I did have a visit yesterday and it was Eleanor and I gave her her birthday stuff. Yay. And she brought our long crafty kitty and kitty. I'm going to put Crafty Kitty's um, uh, YouTube channel down below. Eleanor does not have one. I wish she did, because <laughs> I imagine it would be hilarious. But anyways, yeah, we had a really good couple hour visit outside. It didn't rain until after they left. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really nice. And Che enjoyed seeing his Auntie Eleanor. I'm calling her Auntie Eleanor now because that's what he acts like. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, today I managed to, because I don't know if you guys know, what. uh-oh, oh my goodness, I just looked up at Agnes, my plant, and she's almost dead. I forgot to feed her. Poor Agnes, I gotta get, I gotta get on her right after this. Yes, I named my plant. Um, so, yeah, so I had the shears up in front of my thing. But the problem is that they kept, it, it, that cord system was not working. So what I did is I bought some um, uh, uh, Velcro. And I put Velcro on the, uh, across the uh, bookcase where I wanted it. And then I sewed the other half of the Velcro to the shears. So I'm happy with them now. Now, of course, they've been folded up. So I have had to, um, I will have to iron them again, but that's fine. And um, what else? Oh, and I and it did manage to raise them up a bit so they weren't dragging on my floor because that was a little bit annoying. So I made sure that was happening. And yeah, that's about it for that. Um, I'm working on, well, I'm looking at working on the thing. I'm going to be sending out a little bit and a little happy mail there tomorrow. And I've been stamping and yeah, I haven't done, been doing much of anything actually. I've got a boring life though. I don't really, yeah. I don't like going out much. Like I don't leave much. Um, my doctor did allow me to go off one of my pills. <laughs> Just one, but one pill is one pill less that I have to take. And I take a lot. So I am very happy girl that I, yeah, that I don't have to take one less or one more pill than yeah it's a sad i know it's sad that when you've got got so many pills like i'll take there's one pill i take about 14 to 15 of them a day one pill anyways it's it's because they could make it less but it's because i need it at small doses so I can manage it so they give me a in small doses but it's annoying it's yeah anyways that's my beef for the day is I get excited over stupid things so um what else yeah nothing else going on I am currently putting um I had purchased a dust cover for my sewing machine but it's not 
long and, and it fits great but it's not very long so I said oh I'm gonna just take some um, material and put it around the the bottom the bottom hem of that and I think it's gonna look cute so it'll be a dust cover with a little bit of material at the bottom I think it's gonna look cute I might accent it somehow on the top too to to bring it in either either that or make it like it um, like um make it like a, a little handle or something the same material so maybe anyways that's about it you guys and um, thank you very much for stopping by please check out the um, other people doing hashtag T Tuesday and hashtag Christmas 365 or hashtag 365 Christmas and check out Crafty Kitty and um, uh, Life with Patty and I uh, oh and um, Kathy's favorite thing is also a host um, in Life with Patty and Kathy's favorite thing are hosts of the Tea Tuesday. All right you guys thanks for stopping by.